All right, welcome back, Odoers. It's Jose Ignacio here again. Now, today we're going to be talking about emails. Now, for decades, emails have played a major role in all of our lives, whether you're a consumer, you know, eagerly opening a coupon-filled message from a local business or online retailer, or maybe you're a salesperson sending out carefully crafted newsletters to potential customers. It's always easy to see that emails, they can make or break a company pretty much. Now, most people reply, forward, sign up, or even buy something from a properly prepared, strategically scheduled email. I myself am victim to seeing very large savings percents and, you know, immediately buying things. And that's okay. Treat yourself. You know how it is. Now, the probability of engagement, at least with people like me, is extremely high if it's a good email. Now, with creative email campaigns in place, this means companies can engage with their audience, such as me. They could boost brand awareness. And we always love to say that word, boosting brand awareness. And what do all these things do, O-doers? They increase your sales. And that's always a very good thing. Now, that's why here at Stealthywood, we rely on Odoo email marketing. Now, with Odoo email marketing, we can reach more customers at a lower cost with personalized messages that are guaranteed to leave a lasting impression and to entice them to shop at Stealthywood for all their future furniture needs. So, enough chit-chat. I'm feeling kind of spicy. Let's jump into the Stealthywood database to see how we can create winning email campaigns in no time with Odoo. All right, Odooers. So, let's start on the email marketing settings page, and you can find that under the configuration menu and settings. Now, once that we're here, you'll notice a few different options. Now, this one over here titled Dedicated Server. Well, if you have a dedicated server for your email, you can activate the dedicated server feature here, and Oda will help you quickly configure your personal server. But for this example, that's not going to be necessary. Now, however, make sure to activate the other two features over here on the left. Mailing campaigns and blacklist option when unsubscribing. I already have them selected, but if you do not, you should select them and then hit save. Now, mailing campaigns will come in handy because we tend to use several emails for our marketing campaigns. Each has their own specific purpose and target audience, which helps us cast a much wider net and hopefully attract more customers to stealthy wood and not to obvious lumber or any other wood-related enterprises. Now, it should be noted here as well that while there are plenty of target models to choose from as recipients for these mailing campaigns, Oda will not send them to broad audiences. And what is a broad audience? Well, Odooers, this means you can't just send campaigns to general website visitors, random email addresses, etc. Stuff like that. So be sure to keep that in mind. We don't want you spamming randos. Now, as you can also see by activating the blacklist option when I'm subscribing, well, this gives our recipients the power to control whether or not they want to blacklist themselves during their unsubscribing process, meaning they no longer want to receive messages from our company. And them no longer wanting to receive messages is an important, powerful feature that we allow them to do, because obviously, we hope this won't happen too often, but when it does, we want our customers to have the ability to quickly and very easily avoid these messages, should they need to. Once you're done, go ahead and hit save. Now, let's check out our mailings. We're going to go up here. Now, by default, if I take off this filter, we'll see all of our mailings inside of a list view. But you can easily toggle between the other options. Now, we have list view, Kanban view, and we also have calendar. Let's go ahead and select Kanban view for now because Jose Ignacio loves his Kanban view. Now, it should be noted that these stages that you see in the Kanban view are fully customizable. So feel free to tailor them to whatever your specific marketing process is. Now, let's create one because I'm feeling very creative right now. So we're going to hit Create. And we're going to construct this mailing from scratch. We need a title. And ours is going to be check out these new, very new products. We love showing our flashy flashies. Now you'll notice under the subject line, there's an option for the recipient field. And it's currently set to mailing list, which is what we want in this case. But we could just as easily select it and choose to send this to any of these other options inside of our dropdown. We can also save custom marketing feature 
filters, sorry, little dupsy, for future use here. Now, for example, if we select inside of here the lead and opportunity option, we get that magical equation down there inside of the recipients field. Now, we can actually customize it here how we want. In our case, let's go down here, let's get rid of that one. And ours, let's assume we're targeting people who only speak English or speak English in addition to other languages. Now, you'll notice that we can save this filter as well over as a favorite filter over here. And isn't that very nifty? Now, in our case, I do want to save this. We're going to do this as English leads. I'll close that out. Man, it's already added. Now, let's delete that favorite filter as well. And you'll notice the newly added, you know, equation and everything just disappeared. But if we ever need to quickly utilize that filter, we actually just need to select it again from the favorite filters feature. And there we have it again. And isn't that easy? But we're going to remove it once again. Just because we don't actually want that right now. And there we have it. But for now, I want to send this to a specific mailing list. So let's switch lead and opportunity back over here to mailing list. And that's perfect. Now, what mailing list do we want? Well, over here gives you the option to select it. And in our case, we're going to select newsletter because it's pretty generic. Now, since we selected the mailing list, we can also choose to send this to however many pre-configured mailing lists that we want. And if I need to, I can always add more mailing contacts or adjust the contacts on this newsletter mailing list by clicking on the add mailing list contacts button on the right that you see over here as the little person that we have. I love these little icons. They always look very cool. Now for this example, we're actually just going to stick with a newsletter mailing list, which is packed with some of our most loyal customers because they've signed up to hear about Stealthy Wood all the time. Now, below that, you'll notice a few little sections. There's a collection of pre-made templates, and these are all ready to be customized and configured. So let's choose one real quick before we move on for the sake of the workflow. In our case, which one do we want? We do one of the blogging ones. Ah, big news. Because I did say we got big news. Isn't that purpose? Now, you also notice a design tab is now available alongside blocks and customizing options. If I select the design tab, you see it gives me a lot of different options. You know, elements such as headings, links, buttons, and much more. Now, if I click on any block in the template, you'll notice... I gain the ability to customize it fully. And I can even add new blocks here as well. As you can see, I could add logos, I could add headers, I could add new pictures as well. Now, everything looks pretty good though. So, beside the mail body tab, as you can see, there's something very interesting. You'll find the A slash B test settings and chat options up here. Now, let's look at the A B test tab. And you'll notice it's very empty right now. All it says if allow A slash B testing option. And if we select it, immediately a lot of fields appear. And these, and for those of you who are unaware, by the way, I should always explain these things. I always forget that, oh doers. A slash B testing allows you to select a percentage of recipients to send this particular version of the mailing just so that you can gauge its effectiveness. You don't want to ruin the whole chance. Now you can then try, you know, different variations of the same mailing on different percentages. This allows you to really narrow down what works and more importantly, what doesn't work. Now, as you'll notice, it gives us a little option as well. We have a winner selection here as well. Now, once you have some variations out there being tested, you can determine what Odoo should look for when trying to determine a winning test. As you can see, it could be based on a number of factors. You could select it to be manual, highest click rate, a few other options as well. Now below that, you'll also notice there's an option that says send final on calendar selection option. Now you can choose what date to send the winner of the test out to the remaining recipients who were never involved in any of the previous mailings. Now this feature ensures that the message you're sending out is already a proven winner before it even reaches your recipients inboxes. And that's pretty cool, right? But in our case, we're going to deselect this. 
And now we're going to move on to the settings tab. Now here you can add some other things such as preview text. You can modify the sent from and the reply to email addresses. And even further than that, you can add attachments and assign this to a campaign. And you can even adjust the responsible person if you don't want Mitchell admin or someone else. Now, when it comes to the customizable sent from and reply to addresses, there are a few reasons why a company may choose to modify this. Applying different email addresses in these fields is a great way to further track the successfulness of your campaign. For example, if you're conducting test mailings, you can assign each variation to a different email address or salesperson. And then you can analyze which variation is producing the most engagement, which is a UTM tracking option. And isn't that cool? Now, I used a couple words there, and one of the most important ones to go over again is UTM, or Urchin Tracking Module. Now, this is the ability to track the effectiveness of marketing campaigns. Now, in addition to these customizable email tracking fields that enhance your traceability options, as you can see right over here when you select campaign, you can also choose to attach this mailing to a specific campaign, sales, Christmas special, and a few others that you might not be able to see yet, such as if I select it and then I delete it. Now, lastly, the very last thing that I want to talk about is chat. And sorry, there's a lot of, you know, setup that we have going on. Now, let's say that we're done creating a mailing campaign and we're ready to send it off. We can either click right here on the option to schedule or to send this directly out. Now, the very last thing that I also want to touch back on is as I've opened the chat option, you'll notice in here that you'll find the chatter of our mailing campaign right here. And that's pretty much all that the chat is. But back to where we were. Now, let's say we're done creating our mailing campaign. We can either click schedule, which will be if we want to send it on a future date, or we can click send, or we can even test this as we've talked about. Now in our case, I'm actually going to hit send because it's beautiful. And we confirm it with OK. And then you'll notice once that I did that, Odoo automatically schedules when it'll be sent out. You'll also notice that the status of this mailing has moved from draft, which we were up here at the top, and it's now set up to in queue. And what does that mean? It means that it is ready to be sent, that is, it is waiting at this point. You also notice we have several smart buttons that have appeared along the top to show how our contacts are reacting to our mailing. Now, as you can see, Odoo makes the creating, testing, and sending of emails easier than ever before. We've done this for like, what, less than 10 minutes? That's all it took. Do you have 10 minutes today to learn something new? If you do, I will always teach you. Now, now that you're familiar with the basic essentials of the Odoo marketing you know, application for emails, Let's dive a bit deeper and see how simple it is to create a successful email campaign. Stay tuned, though, doers. If you have another 10 minutes to spare, come through and learn a little bit more. Have a great night. Goodbye, bro-doers.